This video is all about how far Blender's animation system has come over the years. Originally, my script focused entirely on Blender's progress, but as I started preparing, I realized something exciting. The gap between Blender's animation system 2's and Maya's is shrinking with every update. This got me thinking. Why not adjust the script a little bit and draw some comparisons with Maya just to help everyone truly appreciate the hard work Blender's developers are putting in to close that gap? Maya has been the industry standard for decades, but Blender is catching up fast. This isn't just about tools and features, it's about recognizing how far Blender has come and how its free open source platform is becoming a real contender in professional animation. So, let's dive into the progress Blender has made side by side with Maya to see just how impressive these updates really are. Now, let's be real for a second. When someone who's used to Maya, Houdini or any other software makes the jump to Blender, they are bound to hit some hurdles and honestly, it's not different for a Blender artist trying out another platform. Every 3D tool has its own quirks and its own way of doing things. The workflows are different, the shortcuts are different, even the mindset can be different and it's easy to get stuck thinking, well, the way I learned to do it must be the right way. No, here's the truth. Once you let go of that bias and approach a new tool with an open mind, you start to see what it's truly capable of. Blender's animation tools are evolving and as more professionals bring their expertise into the mix, the software keeps getting better and better. It's an exciting time to see where this is headed. Okay, without wasting any more time, let's roll. Blender has always had a robust set of animation tools like the Pose Breakdowner that rivaled those in other industry standard software. However, the challenge wasn't necessarily the lack of tools, it was accessibility and workflow efficiency. Many features were hidden, required additional clicks or weren't enabled by default, thus creating friction for professional animators working on larger projects. Over the years, numerous small but impactful changes have been implemented to streamline the animation process, culminating in the polished experience offered by recent updates made in Blender. In earlier versions of Blender, managing animations in the timeline could be cumbersome, particularly for larger projects with complex scenes. The timeline displayed keyframes in a flat linear structure without the ability to organize or group related tracks. This made it difficult for animators to manage animations for multiple characters, layers, or effects within the same project. While features like markers and basic scrubbing were available, they lacked customization options, forcing animators to rely on workarounds for clarity and precision. Additionally, tasks like rearranging animation tracks required multiple steps, slowing down iteration during fast-paced workflows. Recent updates made into Blender introduces significant upgrades to timeline visibility and usability, making it more intuitive and efficient for animators. Keyframe tracks in the timeline are now collapsible and groupable, allowing users to structure animations hierarchical. For example, character rigs, camera animations, and layered motion effects can be organized into logical groups that can be expanded or collapsed as needed. This reduces visual clutter and makes navigating complex projects far easier. The timeline also supports customized markers with color coding and labels, enabling animators to break down scenes into segments and align key actions with greater precision. These markers are especially useful in team-based projects where clear communication of animation phases is critical. Moreover, drag and drop functionality for rearranging tracks within the dope sheet and graph editor has been added thus significantly speeding up workflow during iteration. Animators can quickly reorder, duplicate, or delete tracks without breaking their focus. Maya has been celebrated for its advanced timeline and graph editor capabilities. Features such as grouping animation tracks, robust snapping, and custom markers have been staples of its animation workflow. Additionally, Maya's time warping tools, which allows animators to stretch or compress time dynamically, provide unparalleled flexibility for intricate timing adjustment. 
Now, Blender's improvement brings it much closer to Maya in terms of timeline organization and usability. The addition of collapsible tracks and custom markers addresses many of the frustrations animators previously faced in Blender. While Maya still holds an edge with features like custom playbacks and advanced time remapping, Blender is closing the gap rapidly offering a more competitive alternative for professional animators. If you've been enjoying my content or found value within it, please consider subscribing, sharing or leaving a comment. And if you think there's something I can improve on, don't hesitate to let me know in the comment sections. I would love to hear about your experiences and journey with Maya, Blender or any other two. Your feedback and insight means a lot and will help shape the future of this channel. For years, one of Blender's most notable challenges in professional animation workflow was viewport performance, especially in handling complex animation data. While the software offered robust tools for creating and editing animations, its ability to handle large scenes with many animated objects often lagged behind its competitors. Recently, however, Blender has made tremendous strides in this area, with its recent update delivering such significant improvement which may even surpass the competition in certain areas. In previous versions of Blender, the viewport performance was a bottleneck when dealing with high-density animation data, complex scenes with dense geometry, multiple animated rigs, and high-resolution textures often resulted in laggy playback. This issue was particularly pronounced in character animations where rigged skeletons, deformable meshes, and constraints required extensive calculations in real time. Animators often found themselves previewing animations at sub-optimal frame rates or relying on simplified proxies to get work done. For example, opening a file with hundreds of motion capture rigs or Tens of thousands of keyframes could lead to sluggish viewport interactions, making iterative adjustments to animations time-consuming and frustrating. These limitations made Blender less appealing for professionals managing large-scale projects. Recent updates made into Blender marks a game-changing leap in viewport performance. The introduction of a multi-threaded dependency graph has transformed how Blender handles animation data. By leveraging multi-core CPUs more efficiently, computational tasks like rig evaluation, constraint processing, and keyframe interpolation are now distributed across multiple threads. This ensures that even the most complex animations run smoothly. GPU accelerated scanning for deformable meshes further enhances playback performance, enabling real-time interactions with high polygon characters and scenes. With these updates, Blender can handle hundreds of motion capture rigs and hundreds of thousands of keyframes in real time. Imagine opening such a file, immediately playing it back and moving freely in the viewport, all before Maya finishes loading the same file. This kind of responsiveness is a significant milestone for Blender, setting a new standard for viewport interactivity. But Maya has long been a leader in real-time animation playback thanks to its features like its parallel rig evaluation mode, which also takes full advantage of multi-core GPUs and CPUs. This system has allowed Maya users to work with complex rigs and dense animations with impressive responsiveness. But Blender's recent viewport improvement brings it closer than ever to Maya's level of performance. While Maya still holds a slight edge in handling extreme levels of complexity, Blender's enhancement now makes it a compelling alternative, especially for users who want a free open source solution without sacrificing real-time interactivity. With that said, Blender's transformation in viewport performance reflects its commitment to meeting the demands of professional animators. With its ability to handle dense animation data in real time, recent updates made into Blender not only addresses one of its historical shortcomings but also establishes itself as a serious contender in the world of professional animation software. For animators working on large-scale projects, Blender is no longer just a viable option, it's becoming a preferred one. Blender's auto keyframe functionality 
while a helpful tool for animators, has historically been limited by inefficiencies in how animation data is structured and managed under the hood. With recent advancements, Blender has addressed many of these issues, introducing improvements that brings its auto keyframe system closer to the standards set by industry leaders like Maya. In earlier versions, Blender's auto keyframe mode lacked granularity, applying keyframe indiscriminately to all modified property of an object. For example, if an animator adjusted the location, rotation, and scale of an object, even unintentionally, all three properties will receive keyframes, regardless of whether they were crucial to the animation. This led to timeline clutter with unnecessary keyframes, complicating workflows and making cleanup tedious. Compounding this was the way Blender structured its animation data. Keyframes were stored in actions, which were tightly bound to individual objects. This rigid system made it challenging to coordinate animations across multiple objects working in unison, as each object required its own actions, even if they were part of the same animated sequence. The lack of viewport feedback for auto keyframe activity further exacerbated these inefficiencies, leaving animators to guess which properties were being keyed. Recent updates made into Blender introduces a much more refined auto keyframe mode that addresses these pain points directly. Animators now have the ability to selectively enable keyframing for specific properties such as location, rotation, scale, or even custom attributes. This targeted approach prevents unnecessary keyframe creation, resulting in cleaner, more manageable timelines. Animators no longer need to spend valuable time deleting extraneous keyframes, streamlining their workflows. The addition of real-time viewport indicators is another game changer. When auto keyframing is active, Blender visually highlights which objects or properties are being affected. This immediate feedback allows animators to maintain full control over their scenes, even in complex setups. Furthermore, Blender is working on a new action system which I would say is still currently in development. And this feature promises to revolutionize how keyframes are organized. This system will allow multiple objects to share the same actions, enabling animators to manage related keyframes more flexibly. With this approach, animators can use action strips to shift, mix, and remix animations for an entire scene in a non-linear fashion, vastly improving the efficiency of scene-wide animation adjustment. Maya's auto keyframing system has long been a benchmark for precision and control, offering animators the ability to filter specific properties for keyframe insertion. Maya also includes advanced features like scene-wide keyframe scoop and timeline filter which allows animators to manage and refine their keyframes with unmatched granularity. But Blender's advancements in auto keyframe functionality brings it much closer to Maya's capabilities. The selective keyframing options and real-time viewport feedback now rivals Maya's approach, making Blender a viable alternative for animators who prioritize precision. However, Maya's additional features like timeline-based filtering and integration with its extensive rigging tools still gives it an edge over managing large-scale intricate projects. Blender's ongoing work on its action system reflects its commitment to improving animation workflows by enabling multiple objects to share actions and introducing powerful new tools for scene-wide animation editing. Blender is positioning itself as a serious contender in professional animation. These advancements, paired with the improvements in auto keyframe functionality, ensures that Blender continues to close the gap with industry standard softwares like Maya while retaining its unique appeal as an open source solution. My channel has been a part of the animation community for over 4 years now, with more than 120 videos covering both 2D and 3D animation. Occasionally, I also explore VFX breakdowns in movies. While I'm proud of the content I've created, I've noticed my analytics are really poor. In order to contribute to the success and growth of this channel, kindly consider subscribing, sharing, or leaving a comment. And if you think there is something I can improve on, don't hesitate to let me know in the comments. 
and i would love to hear about your experiences and journeys with maya blender or any other tools your feedback and insight means a lot and helps shape the future of this channel Blender's nonlinear animation editor has long been a valuable tool for managing and blending animation clips, but it lacked the advanced layering and blending capabilities required for high level production work. With the enhancements introduced in its recent update, the nonlinear editor is evolving into a more versatile and powerful tool, offering animators greater creative freedom and efficiency. In earlier versions, Blender's nonlinear animation editor provided basic functionality for blending and sequencing animation clips. Animators could reuse animations and combine them, but the system's limited blending modes and lack of advanced layering options hindered its utility for more complex workflows. For instance, animators could blend two actions such as a walk cycle and a hand wave, but fine tuning and blending was cumbersome. The system lacked support for proper animation layers, meaning animators had to work directly with the underlying keyframes or rely on workarounds to achieve effects like additive motion or subtle corrections. These limitations made the nonlinear animation editor less competitive compared to the advanced tools available in softwares like Maya. Blender's significant upgrade into its nonlinear animation editor has addressed most of its critical shortcomings. A key improvement is the introduction of expanded blending modes, which now include additive, subtractive, and multiply based techniques. These modes give animators far more flexibility when layering animations, allowing them to fine tune motions or apply corrections without altering the original keyframe. The nonlinear animation editor now also supports true animation layers a feature long requested by the community. Animation layers enable animators to work non-destructively, adding tweaks, offsets, or overlays to an existing animation without overwriting the base. This makes it easier to experiment with variations or add secondary motions without risking the integrity of the original work. For example, an animator can now create a base work cycle, add an arm swing as a separate layer, and then overlay subtle head movement, all without affecting the underlying animation. This modular approach enhances reusability and speeds up workflow for both simple and complex animations. Maya's Tracks Editor has been a gold standard in non-linear animation for years, offering features like clip instancing, advanced blending controls, and direct manipulations of animation layers. Maya's animation layering system is deeply integrated, allowing animators to add, mute, or solo layers at any time while maintaining precise control over blending weight and timing. But recent updates made into Blender brings its non-linear animation editor close to Maya's capabilities, particularly with addition of true animation layers and expanded blending modes. However, Maya still remains an edge for large-scale productions, thanks to features like global animation clip management and deeper integration with other tools such as its graph editor and time editor. These features make Maya better suited for handling intricate multi-character animations or projects requiring extensive layering. The evolution of Blender's nonlinear animation editor in its recent versions reflect the software's growing focus on professional animation workflows. By introducing true animation layers and more versatile blending modes, Blender has taken a significant step forward. While Maya remains the leader in nonlinear animation for large-scale productions, Blender's ongoing development and increasing feature sets are making it an increasingly competitive option for animators seeking a flexible and non-destructive animation workflow. Okay, this is where we draw the curtain. If you have any topic you would like me to expound on or facing any form of challenge in the animation field, kindly don't forget to leave those in the comment section or email me. Also, don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Until my next video, peace.